He was a quiet and judicious person who considered happiness to be on the side of one who is pleased. Many people know him only as the well-known philosopher, though this great ancient Greek scientist also made fundamental discoveries in biology, ethics, stylistics, meteorology, and aesthetics. Aristotle trusted in the virtue of human mind and was aspired to cognize reality, which exists irrespective of human opinions and desires. Aristotle was born in 384 BC on the Halkidiki Peninsula in northern Greece. His father, Nicomachus, held an honorable post as doctor at a courtyard of Amintas III, the king of Macedonia, and had a reputation for being an educated and authoritative physician. He gave perfect home education to his only son. Probably, young Aristotle believed that he would follow the steps of his parents. That's why he diligently studied pharmacology and anatomy and might have assisted his father during reception of patients. In 367 BC, Aristotle set out from Macedonia to Athens to continue his education. During the voyage, the young man's knowledge of medicine helped to cure a rich citizen of blood infection. So, the 17-year-old Aristotle gained a glory of a skillful doctor. In Athens, Aristotle joined the academy of the ancient Greek philosopher Plato. Within two years, the capable and hard-working young man got the opportunity to deliver lectures on rhetoric. Young Aristotle won the sympathy of the 60-year-old Plato and the right to join the circle of wise philosophers, the Platonists. Though the young philosopher had held his teacher on a high esteem, he referred to Plato's views critically. To Aristotle can be attributed the words, Amicus Plato, sed magis amica est veritas. Plato is dear to me, but dearer still is truth. For 20 years of teaching in Plato's academy, Aristotle created works on logic, physics, and rhetoric, philosophical treatises about the nature of reality and on the soul. In 347 BC, after Plato's death, the philosopher left Athens and moved to Asia Minor, to the city of Aternaeus, which was ruled by Hermias, another of Plato's pupils. Aristotle offered to Hermias his friendship and disinterested assistance in city governing. Aristotle said no one would choose a friendless existence on condition of having all the other things in the world. Aristotle lived peacefully at Hermias' courtyard for three years and after his death returned to Macedonia. The 40-year-old Aristotle was welcomed at a courtyard with honor. King Philip II of Macedon found intellectual pleasure in conversations with the great philosopher and soon he invited Aristotle to be a tutor and a teacher of the future king, Alexander. For eight years, Aristotle was the teacher of Alexander the Great, who later became the great commander and the conqueror. Subsequently, historians would say that had a young Alexander the Great not received such deep knowledge in ethics, physics, and logic from Aristotle, he could not have developed into an excellent and victorious leader of military operations. In 335 BC, when Alexander the Great ascended the throne, Aristotle rejected the offer of his former pupil to become a chronicler of his glorious victories. The philosopher preferred pedagogic activity and quiet meditations on the nature's bosom to risky military campaigns. Before his 50th anniversary, he had returned to Athens to found his own philosophical school. Aristotle's school was not far away from the Temple of Apollo of Lysias, and consequently it got the name Lyceum. Teaching young men philosophy, rhetoric, and logic, Aristotle refused to follow the traditional system of lecturing. He trained beginners in philosophy during conversations and discussions while walking with them in gardens. There was another name for the Aristotle school, peripatetic school, which came from the Greek word peripatoi, the walk, and his followers named Peripatetics. The school taught not only philosophy, but also physics, history, astronomy, and geography. Aristotle said to his pupils, those in front don't wait for those behind. Together with pupils, Aristotle made a set of discoveries in various sciences that formed the base for further researches for many centuries forward. Being engaged in nature philosophy, Aristotle divided the nature into the inorganic world, plants, animals, and human beings. 
In politics, Aristotle classified forms of city-states constitutions. He thought that monarchy, aristocracy, and moderate democracy were the best forms. Aristotle brought into aesthetics the concept of catharsis, cleansing of the human spirit. But after the death of Alexander the Great, in 323 BC, Aristotle's position appeared under threat. In Athens, which was under Macedonian rule, anti-Macedonian mutiny had begun. Knowing that Alexander supported the scientific researches of Aristotle, angry Athenians exiled the 60-year sage from the city. The great philosopher spent the last months of his life on the island of Euboea. He died in 322, year BC, in the age of 62. In the words of Aristotle, all ancient Greek scientific and spiritual experience is concentrated. Centuries have passed, and in the end of the 20th century, in the Greek Republic, coins were minted with the portrait of the great ancient sage, Aristotle, that asserted, all men by nature desire to know.